Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the rundown. I apologize. I am not very my exuberant self. I am waking up, and Brian is getting off shift, so we are both very tired. We're gonna call this the short tired boy stream because <laughs> it's only gonna be a little uh, twenty thirty minute short yeah. little July Fourth yeah. special episode. Just kind of get it. Just kind of get shit up because we are recording on July Fourth, even though this comes out the following Monday. Again, if you want to uh, listen to this, uh, you can do so in um, e. You can do so by joining our Discord and stuff, blah de blah de blah So let's get into the week of things real quick, shall we? Um, to answer your question that you asked me... <sighs> Which yeah. question was that? Before we got started about, like, how I'm coping on the Biden shit, like, yeah. I, ne I, I need you to remember that I don't fucking like Biden either. Mm -hmm. I just no, don't. I, know. I just I know. you know it, I just I don't think it's a coincidence that like all of that the media finally started covering twenty twenty five project twenty twenty five in Spade even though we've known about it for a fucking year at this point like really? in the wake of in the in the wake of this shit so um my thing is is that like the reason why like like did I know Biden was almost dirt sure did I think he was like incompetent to his job no. Did, were people, uh, were there, were there, were there three groups of people that were constantly yelling about it? Yes. Did I trust anything those motherfuckers said? Absolutely not, because the first group is right wing douchebags, and they and they just want Biden to fucking lose anyway. So they're gonna make they 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 have no no issue lying about some bullshit. The second is like, like red fash campists like people who like pretend that they're socialists but then will want to put the like all of the people they hate in camp so they're not actual leftists and they just want to see the system burn and be in the lit and like people who like put who who like vote suffer uh and the third are like you know middle of the road fetishists like the types of people who are so desperate to consider themselves like 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 center that both parties are the same that they're willing to that they're willing to equate you know a biden faux pas with any of the bullshit trump says because they need to be they need to believe that they need to be like Cent enlightened centrist type of shit. so i don't believe any so all three of those groups like well, would you i just don't well, you know I, so like but but here's the thing obviously just very quickly before yeah. you continue i just want to respond just to us to the the point you've already laid out nothing that i disagree with i will even concede that seeing especially seeing the uh results of a uh what do you call it uh a very right of center slash very conservative supreme court i took it will totally concede that obviously it's not both sides as on i'm not saying that i was I think not my saying whole, you were it, no no, no. I, I wasn't implying that you were talking about me at all i'm just saying i feel bad for the people especially like real liberals right now who not even on ms people who watch msnbc or cnn just people in general that are genuinely now realizing the situation we're in i'm like yeah yeah guys i, I feel you <laughs> yeah so i'm not even mad i'm not even surprised i knew it was going to be a fucking horrible thing and it's ironic because biden is the one who asked for this challenge i my thing is is that i both Jill and Hunter Biden, his wife and his son, are telling him to keep going and stuff, which I am, I am like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Because here's the thing, right? The only reason we're in this position right now is because of the DNC. Yep. If not the DNC explicitly, because they didn't know, the 20 motherfuckers that interacted with Biden on a day-to-day -day basis and knew the extent of how fucking bad it was... And, and kept saying, oh, and he's so spry, he's so slick, exactly. behind closed doors. Exactly. <laughs> so so my thing is, is that I think, gen and again, I know I apologize to everybody that we're doing politics this time around. Um, it's just because of the debate. It's just we like the last, the last week has been a behemoth, 
and you know like we got to talk about biden we have to talk about the supreme court ramifications it's just Jesus so Christ. so politics <laughs> so if politics ain't your bag this week like ain't, ain't, ain't why you like watching us i understand clicking off but just stick around nonetheless it's important to talk about happy independence day everybody <laughs> hey, so basically my thing is is that it i can kind of like i'll, I'll just lay out like my favorite the biden stuff and i can just let me know how much you agree and all that or not and we'll move on mm-hmm. to supreme court shit um uh ultimately um biden needs to drop out he's not going to because here's Uh, the thing because here's the thing right like the risk Mm -hmm. isn't people voting for trump that's not gonna happen like every every single solitary fucking human being in this country except maybe a ditzy 18 year old who doesn't know no better is going to vote for who they've already decided to vote for. They knew if they voted in the last election, they already know. And if they've ever watched news at all, and this is their first election, they already know who they're voting for. Like yeah. that's not like that's not the issue. It's that, weird. That, this it, I think what you're about to say just is this election is really going to be decided by like thirty percent of not only turnout but like thirty percent undecided right now for whatever fucking reason no and... it, i i know I, it's oh no that's not what i'm saying the undecided oh, okay. like the, it's not gonna be undecided voters those undecided voters generally know what the fuck they're gonna do like like what i i don't know what slovenly you know dead brained sicko fan doesn't like like if, if you don't already know at this point in the game who you're gonna be voting for in your heart of hearts you probably weren't gonna go vote anyways so I don't like because like because that's the thing about electoralism, right? If you don't vote, they don't. Nobody gives a fuck about what you have to say. Yeah, you know. So I the thing that's going to what that will the thing the problem with the debate is ultimately that is ultimately the same reason why so many like up down ballot Democrats were freaking the fuck out is because they accurately assigned that what is going to cause you know Democrats to lose this November isn't going to be a bunch of people deciding suddenly after this debate to go vote for Trump. It's going to be Democrats not showing up in the general. Yeah. That's what's going to be the issue because ultimately, because well, when Democrats don't show up, Republicans win. Exactly. Both times, not both times, but uh, both times that Trump has been in the election, it has been determined by turnout. The mm-hmm. reason he won in 2016 was because turnout Nobody was low. Nobody showed the fuck up. It was yeah. like less than 50% of the country. And then the reason 40. that... It was 40%. Yeah. It was less than 40. And then the reason that Biden won was because so many people showed up. A lot of first-time voters. A lot of real hard liberals that didn't want to see you know Trump again. But also people in the middle who were like, Okay, we genuinely need like a pause. <laughs> Yeah, because this shit is crazy. <laughs> so ultimately, I think at the end of the day, I think here you want here's why I think Biden should step down. Right, it has nothing to do with. I think it genuinely has absolutely nothing to do with Biden himself. I think it ultimately has everything to do with an energized base. Because all because here's the thing: either you're going to vote for Trump or you're not. Them's the breaks. Like R- like RFK is going to RFK statistically pulls more from the right wing, anyways. Like he's not really a threat towards like Democratic majorities here. Like he is if if if, if anybody's an issue, it's if anything's an issue, it's the fact it's like it's Biden depressing voter turnout by people just being like fuck it, I'll stay home. Like I like just not just like not being you because because you know. The fear, because like the fear of Trump, I don't think is going to be enough to get people out a second time. People by like people's lives are difficult now due to the economy that Trump built. Biden's policies have done a decent job mitigating the worst effects of it, but you know it's still not great. You know, so it will it remains to be seen. I think ultimately, and this is the last thing I'll say on it before we get I get off my fucking soapbox and we'll move on to the Supreme Court shit, which I know you you will be able to like rant and rave about too, because it's fucking Ooh, bullshit. That's um, crazy. Um I think ultimately at the end of the day, I think 
Biden. It, I think the reason I think if they do if the if Biden steps down, what will happen is, is is that we have about a month and a half before the the, the convention. <clears throat> It'll be balls to the wall coverage. Who's gonna Who's gonna step forward? Who's gonna throw their hat in the ring? And similar to how in the summer of 2016, where all the fucking news media covered was just Trump and his bullshit, you know the 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 heightened the heightened like focus on the Democratic Party will push out any bullshit that Trump is doing, and as a result, you know, will I think lead to, you know, people being a if not more excited for the prospect because there's going to be like not a crypt keeper in the White House, but but more so, um, you know, just it's in the it's in like the more recent memory. I think that I think that month and a half of co- wall to wall coverage will do so much more uh, to you know ter- accelerate voter turnout than Biden taking his you know fast acting adrenochrome <laughs> and 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 fucking up for the at, at every single speech and event going forward. So. Yeah, because unless they got him hooked up on, you know, PDs, PEDs, sorry, right? Yeah, for performing enhancing performing. drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't really see a lot of people being excited for him. But on to this. Yes. So, so, so there's there's mediocre. There are three separate <laughs> cases that I want to talk about in the ramifications. But I want let's talk about the. Well, uh, mo- like, I I would say this is probably the most scandalous, not the mo- the most scandalous, but the one that's like on the surface of it scary. Um, and that uh, means it's way more scarier the more you dig into it. <laughs> yeah, I think th- I think the genuinely terrifying one is the one we're going to talk about last which is the uh um overturning of chevron and the, mm. and the ramifications of that are going is going to be wild but let's get started with uh uh biden can now if he if he was the type of person to do so could declare himself king no literally we could have a king charles all, all over again <laughs> and it's just like fucking weekend it's crazy he told y'all he'll be back I mean, it's crazy. It's like Palpatine. This is... uh, How do conservatives not have the longevity and the foresight to see that there may possibly one day be a highly charismatic, sociopathic Democrat who uses this to their advantage? And I know how unlikely it sounds right now, but it's like, it could happen could here's the thing republicans do here's the thing (laughs) democrats love following procedure republicans love winning that is literally it you know i'll be so like like they they, they make they make these decisions based on the the assumption that they're just going to keep winning that they're not going to lose literally <laughs> and just to name. talk about this for a yeah, sec. Go for it. Go I mean, it. I realized this um when Merrick Garland got skipped for the nomination on the Supreme Court and they lied and they and they pestered and they said, Oh no, we'll follow precedent if we're ever in the same situation. And you know what the fuck happened when they were in the same situation? Nothing. Yep. They allowed it. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. Because here's the thing, ultimate. Because <laughs> here's the thing, Democrats treat. How do I put this? Democrats treat power. They like, treat treat the elect their, the electorate as an inconvenient aspect. They treat it of, like uh, of of power. They they view it as a procedure. They view uh, the, their voter base as a procedural aspect of gaining power republicans view it view their base as how they get into power and there's a reason why even the most centrist of you know republicans will still pay lip service to the frothing masses of vehement fascists in their in their party because those are the motherfuckers that show up and get them elected because they're on the republican ticket and uh, that's the 
Ah, there lies the rub with all of this, but what now is classified as an official act of presidency for presidency? Ugh. So, the, so the way it worked is, is, is that you have three categories. You have core, official, okay. and unofficial. Core acts are things that are laid out explicitly in the Constitution. Got it. So those are like completely covered. Um, official acts um, have been treated as having assumed innocence and good faith by courts in, in that regard. And unofficial acts don't have that assumption. So here's what I mean, right? If, a, if a, an official says this was an un, this was an I was doing this as part of an official act, courts will by default assume that and, to, and insert from the position that it was done uh, as an official act, and then it puts the prosecution on the back foot. To have to di to have to disprove that. And See, it's, the real question, and, and, is, and that is, is already on top of how difficult it already is to nail a president for any act whatsoever. And the, and there was no you also need like two thirds of Congress. Or I'm, I'm, I'm not anybody. even talking about impeachment. I'm just no, talking no, no, about bring, someone bringing a, a criminal case in court. Uh, it's an, uh, insanity, and this completely. I mean. This is what I was saying. I don't know if I was saying it, but uh, I heard. Maybe I heard it. I think I was saying it, though. Um, that Merrick Garland, Attorney General right now, has said, hold off on the Georgia uh, fraud case for finding more, you know, uh, votes for him in the 2020 election. Part of the reason why he uh, first got indicted for the Stormy Daniel stuff, because they all try to tie it together, you know? And he said to push it off until after the election. This is why they shouldn't have done it. Fuck the New York case with Stormy Daniels. Why didn't y'all do this one? This was the one y'all should have did, and y'all fumbled it. Not saying it took him off the ballot. Maybe it even made him stronger. But I'm just saying that was at least a federal case at a time when Democrats have also a majority in everything. Not already, everything, but... Oh, here's the thing, right? Like, Trump has his sentencing for the, mm -hmm. for, for the fraud in seven days. Yeah. It, he, he gets sentenced on the 11th. The judge in that case has complete jurisprudence and authority to send his ass to prison that which is what i call the big funny because yeah the, but we both know it's not gonna happen because it's a first time offense this whole thing the whole fucking bullshit it is uh, but he also has 34 of them which is not an insignificant which is not like an amount of felonies that you know, we'll, 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 we'll get an average, per, would allow an average person to get paroled. There's already so, fuck shit going on. We both know Trump ain't going to jail. We both no. want it. We both want it for no. different reasons. What would probably, we what would probably end up happening is, is that, like, like, I think it would be funny as shit. Do, I don't think it would be productive. I don't think it would make people want to vote for him any less. I don't think it would make people want to vote for him anymore. I don't think it would tip the scales whatsoever. You might get a handful of independents who are like, yeah, all right, fine, maybe I'll do Biden. But then again, those people are like slovenly morons anyways at this point for like, if you're if you're saying that that was the final straw for you <laughs> yeah. to go now vote he's for in jail, Biden, I gotta really, go vote for that, Biden. that was the final straw for you. Okay, dude, sure, <laughs> sure. Like... <laughs> Like go 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 back to your breakfast table at Cracker Barrel and eat and eat your 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 sausage gravy biscuits with no with no silverware and just enjoy yourself. This so is, so uh... like so like I, and I want to be very clear to everybody that when I say that I am not being mean to uh, I am not being mean or stereotypical towards like rural white folks. I am a rural I I was I am a I am a hick I am of hick lineage. Look at him. 
Who I, are we kidding? I'm, I, but what I am saying, what I am saying, is I'm making fun of morons. Because, like, are you really about to tell me that a person that, like, li li just to flip it and put on Biden, are you really telling me that if Biden, got, if Biden got arrested, and then, so, it, 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 like, if some, if if Biden got like and died, like impeached or some shit, and like somebody was like, okay, that's the final straw, I guess, and then just decides to go vote for Trump instead, you think that, like, you really think that after everything that you perceive Biden has done so far that like that being the final straw is like really fuck you come on dude like that just to go mm -hmm. into your realm your your fantasy realm real quick but moving on to the next supreme court case because this is going to be quick not really much discussion other than of how fucking objectively awful it is it is it is the supreme court has now opened the door for municipalities all over this great country to to send people to prison for being homeless it is no coincidence that the places that do send people to prison for being homeless and try to do that just so happen all to be municipalities with a large swath of private prisons that, by the way, make a lot of things and provide a lot of tax revenue without having to pay any ta without having to pay anywhere near as much in wages. Remember, folks. Slavery is legal in this country so long as you did a crime first. So long as you're caught in prison. Yep. <clears throat> so you know, being home, having homeless, be a threat. With the with the increasing, yeah, the pri private prisons are basically our country's salute. Like private prisons and prisons are just our country's solution to the housing crisis. They say if you can't afford to have a home and you can't afford to live and you end up on the street. Go work. Go, 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 go make Gucci bags <laughs> in the private prison. Get fucked. Literally. Yeah. So that's independence. Yay. <laughs> yeah. And we're uh, moving on to the last one. This is the most technically, like the most technical one, but this is the one that I think is going to have the most impact for the the the, the most accelerating effect on the shitification of America, and that is the overturning of Chevron. For those who are right. unaware, the overturn the Chevron was a case in the 1970s that basically said, "Hey, uh, Congress makes these vague ass laws, and the agencies that are due to enforce these laws are filled with people that know what the fuck they're talking about. People you know, who are non-elected. Yep, people who are who have spent their entire lives studying these fields or have been ill." or been in and around this field they know what the fuck they're talking about i'm and i don't and, and and like you know just you know i just saw a senator the other day talking to mark zuckerberg the other month talking to mark zuckerberg asking him what wi-fi was so i'm pretty sure that that person probably shouldn't be in charge of determining which animals should and shouldn't be on the endangers list that should probably be done done by a biologist it should also be said that somebody who has the logistical understanding of how the sausage is made and how the system actually works should not have to put the resources and time the precious resources and time into getting elected because that's what this law does now right no it's a it's a supreme court ruling what it, it, it it's worse it's worse not not law i'm sorry yeah but, uh, you know what what, what, it, what it does is so this is used in conjunction with the with the fourth one, which was just it, it made it so you can legally bribe people so long as you do it after the fact and they weren't expect and they didn't know it was hap gonna happen. So basically making it so motherfuckers like Clarence Thomas can you know, is in the clear. Um yeah. so, so essentially uh what this what this law did is is that it 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 took the beforehand uh uh in regards to you know regulations and things of that nature um agencies would be in charge like would have the courts would defer to the expertise of agencies in cases so if the 
if the EP, if like you were going against, say, the uh, EPA, and you're and and like a uh, a um a refinery wanted to dump shit straight into the local water system, and the EPA was like, no, you can't do that, and the courts the courts would the 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 the, the justification that the courts would um you know the justification that the EPA would give the court would be presumed as like good true like the same like assumption of like virtue and all that and it would be it would be generally very difficult for the, the refinery to sort of justify dumping their slop into the you know local river um what happens now is is, is that the judiciary is in charge of making those calls not the agencies so if the agency comes forth and says hey you shouldn't do this because of x y and z and then the refinery says no i can't do it because it doesn't do any of the things you're talking about and also because of this other supreme court case which allows us to like bribe officials legally um We've had this before, like we had this before a judge that we've had other work before, and we have given gifts to after uh, favorable support cases. The judge then can sit up and then say, "Uh, I believe the company. Literally. I don't see it." Yeah. So, Crazy. so, so essentially, judges, judges are now who, who again, remember the reason why Chevron existed in the first was ruled on in the first place is because jury is because the courts didn't feel like they had the expertise to be able to rule on these things correctly all the time so they deferred it to, to they allowed the they allowed these now here's the thing all of the people saying that this is is a great thing are happy because of for exactly two reasons the blm bureau of land management in the in the atf specifically the atf all of the fucking right-wing rubes are excited about this being done away with because now it ta it's taken so much power away from the ATF and it's going to make it easier for them to get like firearms like 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 automatic weapons trade things around like it, it basically is is that but the but because they are you know again only thinking about themselves and not like the ramifications um we could just start having ant we could they could start just putting borax in our meat again and like like Tyson could just start putting borax and chicken nuggets, and, and until the Supreme Court says that the FDA has the right to sue them or whatever, it could just keep going, and God knows how long that court is going to happen. No, I hear you. Correct. Yeah. So that 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 is that. I think like don't get me wrong. Uh, ultimately, the president being a, like a king for four years is crazy as shit. And ultimately, like, them staying in past their elected date is still... Thankfully, them staying in past their elected date is not a thing, thanks to the, how the Constitution works, because of the core responsibilities aspect of it. Um, them trying to stay in past that date would um, effectively be, uh, you know, without being elected, would effectively be... Um, they, they, would, they would automatically lose power. It doesn't matter how much they want to. But, like, you know, when you have... But, you know, it's it's just... Yeah, we're in hell. I love we're, it we all. are in hell. Welcome to Unprecedented Times. Yeah, hey, Unprecedented Times. Yippee. Why can't it be good, Unprecedented Times? Like, we solved world hunger, or we solved homelessness. Like, that That would be the human good. human race has made enough food. For the, the, the human time. race has made enough food for a year, like, day on day, year on year, since 2012 to stop world hunger. No, I know. We've I'm long just saying. We've I, long we since would actually that margin. do it. Yeah, no, there's no profit in that. Oh, I know. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I don't but, sit at Cracker Barrel. But but on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of today's episode. We uh again, sorry for all the politics. I know we normally will, 
you know, bum around about some other stuff. There's and there was and there in fact was some cool shit that happened this week. Just uh, uh real quick, check out the Steam Summer Sale. That shit is going on. Yep. Elden Ring is like forty two dollars, which is pretty good. I mean, Not bad. you listen. Even if you don't want to get the DLC, go get the base game. It's still a wonderful experience to play for the first time. I may, I may. It's one of those things where it's like you don't need to get the game of the year edition. You you can go play it exactly as you want. You don't need it all right off bat. But um, heard that. Um, also, so the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League's numbers are in the like to low hundreds. There, there, it is not doing well. Damn, that shit is always on sale. <laughs> and polyamory is coming to The Sims 4 along with a, a giant um, dating expansion. Boom, there you go. Just just go download Wicked Whims instead. You can make your swim twerk and have a fat ass. Crazy. But, <laughs> and have sex. So, and it, is, it is what it is, so... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. If you want to join our community and by, support the show by joining our community, uh, you can do so at himedia.gg slash discord. Uh, we record on our discord. We didn't today just because I wasn't up to do an app everyone at 9 o'clock in the goddamn morning. But normally you'll be able yeah. to listen in to us record um, during that. So please come hang out. Um, and uh, Sit in some... the chat, interact, hit us up whole nine yards and uh otherwise uh give me money at himedia.gg slash tip i am very poor uh thank you so much for watching i appreciate you your time and your listenership thank you brian my illustrious co-host. what's up follow me guys on instagram at i uh, no, almost no, forgot go to brian <laughs> yeah follow him on instagram at instagram.com slash no dot two underscore brian also you his uh, I believe Brian's YouTube channel is in the description, so go check that out. Um, now give my boy money. Give him money. I'm very <laughs> poor. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>